we interrupt your regularly scheduled programming as Governor Charlie Baker is providing an update on COVID-19 testing in the Commonwealth. His press conference is just beginning, so let's listen in. The weekend and we've been in contact with our guard and there's a process associated with supporting them, but obviously if, if any of those folks are looking for our help, we're going to do everything we can to make sure we deliver for them. Now with respect to this morning, Starting this week, our administration will begin distributing over 2 million free COVID-19 rapid at-home tests across Massachusetts. For this particular initiative, at the beginning, we're going to start by focusing on the 100 hardest hit communities in the Commonwealth. This is not just a one-time distribution of a one-time test. We are also in the process of working directly with test manufacturers to make available bulk, cheap purchasing deals for every city and town in Massachusetts. As many people know, we're already a national leader on COVID testing, and this program will obviously build on those efforts and that success. Like vaccines, these rapid at-home tests are potentially a game changer as we continue to battle COVID here in the Commonwealth. But the big problem in many cases for many people have been costs and supply which have been major barriers. This massive distribution effort and the long-term bulk purchasing agreement will make a real difference here in the state. And before I get into the details of this program, I want to provide some context about how Massachusetts is using a variety of other tools to address COVID as we head into the winter months. Public health and medical experts have predicted that we'd see an increase in COVID transmission as the weather got colder. As we enter those winter months, we know we'll continue to see new cases. But that said, this winter is very different than last winter. We have many tools available at our disposal to keep people from getting severely ill that we never had before. And that's vaccines and booster shots. The vaccines work. They are highly effective at preventing serious illness and death. And nearly over 5 million Massachusetts residents according to the CDC, are fully vaccinated, and we've been one of the top performing states in terms of getting our residents vaccinated for months. Roughly 75% of our population is fully vaccinated, and over 92% of our eligible population, which means residents ages 5 and up, now have at least one dose. That number overall is just over 6 million people. And unlike last year, those who are most at risk from getting seriously ill from COVID have protection from the virus. And now with the arrival of booster shots, we're providing our residents with an added layer of protection. Everyone age 16 and older is now eligible for a booster at the appropriate time. As of last week, Pfizer booster shots are now available to residents age 16 and 17, and all three boosters are available to people age 18 or older. And so far, about a million 500,000 residents have gotten a booster here in Massachusetts. There are enough booster doses available for anyone who wants one. There's no supply constraint. And we've been asking our colleagues in local government and the healthcare community to set up additional clinics so that we can get these boosters administered faster. The vaccines and the boosters are helping us curb the pandemic and keep our economy open and our kids in school. As most people know, we've built a nation leading testing infrastructure, which includes hundreds of sites where residents can get tested. And we're currently doing about 100,000 tests a day. In addition to those sites, we also do about 70 to 80,000 rapid tests a week in our schools, our K-12 schools around the Commonwealth. Rapid at-home test kits are increasingly providing people with another easy and convenient option to get tested for COVID. You don't have to wait for this test distribution program. These test kits are available at local pharmacies or can be ordered online usually with delivery in a few days. They can be completed within 15 minutes and are a fast, easy, and convenient way to test for COVID. These tests will be especially helpful as we head into the holiday season. People can use them to check for the virus so that they can safely gather with family and friends. We've secured over 2 million tests 
from iHealth Labs. This week, we'll be delivering these test kits to 102 cities and towns across Massachusetts and asking local officials to get the tests out to those who need them in their communities. It's a big undertaking, obviously, and we can't do it alone. In total, these communities account for nearly 3.7 million Massachusetts residents. The kits are entirely free of charge for these municipalities and their residents. They'll be delivered by teams from the Mass Emergency Management Agency and the National Guard. The 102 cities and towns that will receive these test kits are communities in Massachusetts with the highest estimated percentage of families below the poverty level, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. The goal here is to help those families who face the greatest financial hardship and might have difficulty attaining rapid tests at a pharmacy. This morning, Lieutenant Governor Polito and Secretary Sutters spoke with local government leaders to let them know these deliveries would be on their way in the next few days on a rolling basis throughout next week. Our message to these local leaders is that we're here to help them as they and we work together in the battle against COVID. We also told them, as local officials, that they know their communities best, and that's why we're letting them determine the appropriate strategies for distributing these tests to their residents. In addition to this one-time delivery of 2.1 million tests, we're also working to make it easier and cheaper for municipalities to purchase these tests for their residents going forward. We're in the process of finalizing plans to allow municipalities and other public entities to directly purchase test kits from manufacturers at fixed state negotiated prices. We released the request for proposals last Friday, and we are already involved in negotiations with a number of manufacturers, and we expect municipalities to be able to order these test kits in bulk by January. This statewide program will be open to all communities and we believe it will further reduce barriers to access to these rapid test kits for members of the public. Again, remember this program is in addition to this week's one-time delivery to 102 communities of 2.1 million rapid tests and it will allow for a recurring supply for all communities on a go-forward basis. We'll obviously have more to share about this program in the coming weeks. As we approach the holidays here in Massachusetts, we're in a far different position than we were at this time last year. With vaccines and boosters widely available and the vast majority of our residents vaccinated, we have far more tools at our disposal to fight COVID this time. Kids are staying in school, our small businesses are open for holiday shopping, families are gathering this month to celebrate the holidays. But COVID isn't going away anytime soon. And if you're not vaccinated, you should get vaccinated. If you're eligible to get boosted, you should get boosted. You can get tested at over 100 sites. And as I said, 100,000 tests a day are currently being administered. And with this additional 2 million tests being distributed to our colleagues in local government in the 102 hardest hit communities, there will be options available for those local folks as well. We believe these, these acts and these activities can help protect those who are most vulnerable here in Massachusetts as we continue to move forward. And with that, I will turn it over to Lieutenant Governor. And Governor Baker just announced 2.1 million free at-home rapid COVID-19 tests will be given out across Massachusetts. Now, the administration will start with the 100 hardest-hit communities in the Bay State. They will be free of charge. That's good news. And they will be delivered by the National Guard. Governor Baker says this program will make a real difference in the fight against COVID-19 and during the holiday season. He will have more regarding this initiative in the coming weeks. Now, he also is encouraging everyone who is eligible to get the booster shot to get it amid this pandemic. Now, to continue watching this press conference, download our free Western Mass News app. We'll be back at noon on ABC 40 with more. Take care.